Hi, this is Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here to show you how to tame your iPhone notifications. So there's a thing about notifications. The more that go off, the more we're interrupted. Even if we don't realize we're interrupted and we're still doing the same activity, there's still like a draw of attention that it pulls away just by getting a notification. Over the course of a day, this can lead to overwhelm, exhaustion, all kinds of not great things. The other thing about having lots of notifications, either they're going off or they're not, or maybe they just live in your notification center, but the more of those there are, the harder they are to see, and then we might miss some or like miss the important ones because we have too many on that we shouldn't have on. Ah, I would invite you as we go through these to actually turn some of yours off while we're doing it. It can't hurt. Whatever we can do to reduce those tiny little drains of our attention throughout the day, they can really add up. With time, these notifications have actually gotten harder and harder to see, so it's even easier to lose the important ones in a stack of unimportant ones. Let's take a look at the notification settings. Open the settings app, and we're going to go to notifications. Right at the top, it says count, stack, and list. List is what you might be used to from before, but stack is where it kind of squishes all the notifications down at the bottom. So if we look at it, you only see one, but if I lift them up, there's actually more hiding in there. Or you have the option of a count. That's just telling me how many. Now that one, that's just replacing the one on the top. It says one notification, but if I scroll up, there's like actually more than that. It's weird. So those are your options and how your notifications look on the lock screen or in Notification Center because they're actually the same thing. And then scheduled summary. A scheduled summary means, hey, there's these sets of apps, you pick which ones they are. I don't need their notifications right away. Just like give me a summary at some point later. It's an amazing idea. Theoretically, there's all kinds of apps telling us all kinds of things that we don't need to know about right away. In practice, I haven't found this as useful as I expected. If we're in our notification settings, that's this little scheduled summary we have right here. And what it does is it takes a collection of apps, whichever ones you decide, and it's gonna show you those notifications later. In theory, this is a great idea. There's all kinds of apps that you probably don't need to know in a particularly time sensitive way. And it lets you pick a time of the day that would be better to receive those notifications. But it's like all those notifications arrive at that time of the day. This is a great theory. There's a couple of problems. One, badges is still on by default. So you may have this badge that shows up and you have no idea why until your scheduled summary time. Not great. I mean, you could go in manually and turn off badges, but that's not what those automatic things are supposed to be. There's another problem. Um, we're sort of accustomed to getting more time sensitive notifications. In theory, I don't actually ah alert me because somebody used my credit card most of the time. But if I wait a little while for our family shared credit card, I have to then ask, wait, what was this thing? If I'm not getting it until my scheduled summary. In practice, we're used to getting a lot of things in a much more timely manner. A place where it might be handy is if you get a lot of notifications in a very short period of time, but you wanna see them just at your leisure. So you might get the scheduled summary sometime later. If you're looking for a low disruption, time sensitive alternative, I'd recommend just turning off everything except notification center. Another option is to turn on the show next summary that way, if you scroll down, you can still see what's coming, but it's not all mixed in in quite the same timely way. But if you get tired of it, you can just turn them all off at the same time. Let's talk about show previews. A preview is where you're looking at your phone and you get a text message and it either says person's name and text message, or it says person's name and would you like to go out in a few minutes? Whether or not you want that on or not really depends on your privacy sensitivity. Are you in a place where you don't want people to see the text message or do you kind of not care? So if we tap on it, we have three options, always, when unlocked, and never. When unlocked just means if your phone's locked, you can't see it. Once you've unlocked it or it's recognized your face, all of a sudden you can see the little preview. That's a nice medium ground. Or you could say, never, I must open the app to see the message. And then there's the option for screen sharing. If I'm sharing my screen, do I allow notifications or not? It's often very distracting to allow them, so it's a pretty good default setting to keep that off. Let's talk about announced notifications. In the settings app under notifications, we have announced notifications. 
What that means is that Siri can read out loud notifications under particular settings. Each individual app has a setting for announced notifications, yes or no. You're not picking all notifications are announced or none of them. How you decide to use this, if at all, is very personal. There are some notifications I like to announce, say, while I'm driving, but every day all the time is a little bit too much. That's announced notifications. Notifications for Siri suggestions. Siri suggestions are those little things that pop up that it's like, hey, do you wanna do it? It's got a little Siri suggestion. To my knowledge, Siri does not notify you like with a beep or a buzz or something. Sometimes when you tap on search, it will have a suggestion from Siri, say join meeting or turn on do not disturb. If I feel like those are terrible and annoying and never worthwhile, I should turn that off and I can. I like them for many apps, just not all of them. So if we look at it, you can see I have them turned off for the App Store, Apple Store, and for Amazon. I don't need being prompted to buy more stuff at any point. Let's talk about individual app notification settings. Each individual app has its own notification settings. Do you want to allow that app to notify you at all? Do you want it to do it quietly with no badges? Do you want it to only go to notification center? Or do you want all the bells and whistles? First off is the button to allow notifications at all. You can just turn them off. This is actually great for lots of apps. Tons of apps want to notify you about stuff that you actually don't need to know about at all. Most games come to mind but I do want my text message notifications. So I'm gonna turn that on. Do I want immediate delivery of these notifications or do I want them in a scheduled summary? For most people, I feel like text messages are probably gonna be a little bit more of an immediate thing. You can also classify an app as time sensitive. What you're doing is giving it elevated permission. For example, my calendar has time sensitive notifications turned on. When we look at my lock screen, you can actually see the only notification is from my calendar it's sitting right there. I pull up and you can see more, but that was the only one that you could see that it was really counting when it was counting my notifications. This can be an issue if you're using the stack and have something kind of stale up there. Say I'm already in the middle of my event, but I get a text message from somebody else. That's gonna be hidden down there because it's not time sensitive. That is the behavior I want most of the time, but be aware that if you're using the stack, time sensitive notifications will often hide the ones below it, even if the ones below it are brand new. Here we have the options to have it be on the lock screen, notification center, and banners. If we turn off everything else, all of a sudden, it's just in notification center. And those banners, those little drop down things that appear, they also come in multiple types. They can be temporary or persistent. And persistent just means it's gonna stay there until you manually swipe it away, no matter what other notifications come up. But you can also customize your default sound, also vibrations. If you tap on sounds, you can see there's a lot of them. And where we picked, are we showing previews of messages or not? You can actually customize it even further within the app. It can be the default or it can be only when unlocked or never. Notification grouping. You can have it be automatic or by the app. So these groupings can lump everything in an app together or maybe have some granularity depending on the developer. For me, I get a lot of Discord notifications and I would find it a little disruptive to have them all be together in one stack. I would rather know, hey, is the ADHD Guild Bragg's channel getting a bunch of chatter? Or is the ADHD Guild Memes channel getting a bunch of chatter? And it has those grouped together. Or a different Discord server may have a different group of notifications altogether. But if you don't want those, you want them all in one little group, then you'd say by app. If you say off, each individual message is going to be there in a long, unending row, perhaps. And there's one last thing on customized notifications. It says repeat alerts. Do you wanna get an extra alert if you don't get to it right away? Well, this sounds horrible to me. My husband likes a repeated alert for his text messages. It's up to you. Another quick example is my notes app. Although I allow notifications and I have it set to deliver immediately, I have it only going to the notification center. There are no badges, no sounds, no announcements. I just have it show me, hey, did, usually Colleen, make any changes to our shared Apple notes? It's just something for me to be aware of when it's convenient to me. It doesn't need to make a big noise and get my attention. Now go out there and tame your notifications. And that's scheduled summary. By the way, it occurred to me partway through filming this that maybe these should be even smaller videos. So here we are.